life. God protects me. I'm so glad God protects me because, look, if I got invited to the white party, I'd have gone. Especially if you didn't know. Of course. No one knew. No one right. knew. If and you then don't you know, find you're just out. a celebrity and you know, oh, Jennifer Lopez is going to be there. Oh, Rick That's Ross is going to be there. Everyone's going to be there. And that would be a cool place. I want to meet those people. Facts. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good. Guys, today I'm back with more and more um, interviews. And, you know, it's all about the Didi's case. So um, today I'm going to be reacting to you. Israel Adesanya shares shocking personal story about DD. Crazy in quotes, guys. Without wasting much time, let's dig in. Who? That's, to who? You have to saying. have you have to have done it to someone, but there's no effort at all to uncover that. Yeah, but it's, I'm saying now this year it's kind of crazy how this year started off with uh, what's his name, Cat Williams, mm -hmm. on Shannon Sharp. <laughs> <laughs> he starts talking, spilling the tea, <laughs> sipping the cognac. Yeah, and then now this whole P Diddy thing. Sometimes you have to tell Diddy no. Oh man, <laughs> bro. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh man. Sean Diddy Combs alleged list of accomplishes to be revealed soon. The names will shock you. Attorney says, "Whoa." I think he's gonna sing. Eh? I think. I think he has to sing, or he bro, goes also, to jail I'll tell you for the rest of his life. God protects me. I'm so glad God protects me because, look, if I got invited to the white party, I'd have gone. Especially if you didn't know. Of course. No one knew. No one right. knew. If and you then don't you know, find you're just out. a celebrity and you know, oh, Jennifer Lopez is going to be there. Oh, Rick That's Ross is going to be there. Everyone's going to be there. And that would be a cool place. I want to meet those people. Facts. And yeah. I just want to be there having fun partying. But then they start to, apparently, they said they were using... I'm going to guess it's like ketamine because they said horse tranquilizer mm. and they're putting in people's drinks in the champagne and then getting them all loose. Yeah. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you a secret. It's just us two, right? Yeah. After I knocked out Pereira in Miami, we went to Tootsie's the next night and they were like, yo, P. Diddy wasn't here watching your fight last night. I was like, wait, word? Crazy. Then I went and checked my DMs and I saw, oh, shit, he hit me up. And he was talking about two months later, I want to do an interview or whatever. And I said, he has my manager's number. Bop, cool. Nothing ever came off it, but again, that's why I say God be protecting right, me. Cause right. Because who knows? Right, right, like, you never right. know. Oh, yeah, we're having this party later on. Yeah, that's cool. All right, cool, cool. And then they start to, like, you know, you find some chick, you pull on you, and then, boom. Oh, how was that 15 year old? Wait, what? Right. Yeah. And you're filmed. Yeah. I and heard then, about that. Yeah. yeah. He but had, again, apparently, allegedly, cameras yeah, all, all allegedly. over the house and a hundred a thousand <laughs> bottles of baby oil. <laughs> yeah. What? Nobody's that ashy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand. But also, by the way, that shit lube. Coconut oil is better. Fucking water-based lubricant. Yeah. But baby oil is acidic as fuck. Johnson and Johnson's. Like, that's demonic, bro. Like, why would you use baby oil? Even <laughs> if you're school. fucking dudes. Nah. You probably started out with it. That's all the bottles. Nah, that's, I, that's AI. <laughs> that's that got to be AI. That's got to be AI. I don't know if it's AI. Well, I think you, that's real. I think it was lube and baby oil. I think he had a variety of different substances. Who counted that? It was Look a that. thousand. Look at that. One, two, three Bro, bottles of baby having oil. Four, five, six bottles. bottles of baby oil on the wall. Imagine having 500 bottles and go, we need to go for a yeah. fucking Target run. Nah, man. Oh, the fact that said it was fucking, what do you call it, Costco, and Costco goes, nah, we don't sell that shit. What is this <laughs> defaced AR-15s? Interesting. What does that mean? Does that so mean they, they, scratch, they the, scratch the serial numbers off? off? Yeah. Whoa, that's a serious crime. Yeah. That's a serious crime. Uh, but again, see, uh, he's in cahoots with uh, Epstein. And then is he in cahoots with? Was he in cahoots with Epstein, yeah. or was it just a similar type of an operation? No, no, he, he they were friends. Really? Yeah, because Epstein had a fucking no uh, on Miami as well. That really private, rich uh, estate in Miami. So they were all in cahoots as well. But again, I think he's gonna sing. Isn't it crazy? Like that was always the conspiracy theory, tinfoil hat thing. Oh, there's a place where the elites go to fuck underage kids. You're like, what? What's his name? Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Yeah. yeah. He Alex was right. Jones. He was right. He was right about a lot of things. Almost everything. Yeah, most. About almost everything. <laughs> Fucked up that one. <laughs> but, <laughs> but almost everything else, he was right. But you got to realize that that guy had been in uncovering real conspiracies that the media had not covered for, for fucking decades and he was literally having like a psychotic break because of it because he's just drinking all the time and dealing with the stress how would you even kanye imagine you trying to tell people something right and then no one believes you and they call you crazy i go crazy just trying to explain to people even i can imagine the frustration 
the frustration of trying to explain to right. someone and you're like, no, this is really happening. This, and they're like, yeah, whatever, you're this and that. And I went down the rabbit hole in 2020, I'll tell you, I, I did, I had to. And for me, it was just like, I could see the fuckery. Explain to someone that, yo, this is happening. Like, I saw this thing. And then they're like, what are you saying? Shut up, fam. I'm like, I really saw this thing. Like, believe me. And then maybe like, they're like, no, no, no. Probably like, you need to see a therapist or something because we don't know what's happening to you. But like, it's like, you could literally go insane trying to explain yourself. And I, I definitely get, I definitely get coming. But at the same time, let's talk about the bottles of baby oil that was found in Didi's house. Like, that's crazy. I literally thought, you know, at first, I, when I didn't know shit about the case, I um I saw the picture, I think on TikTok, and like, there was no caption or anything. So I'm like, okay, no, no, no. There was a caption, and it was, I think, um about Didi a baby oil. So I'm like, whoa, why would a guy have this much baby oil in his house? Like, did he, like, does he plan to start a business with it or what? So I heard about the case and read about it and I'm like, oh shit. Like, bro, there's no difference. So why the fuck are you using baby oil? Like, it just, nah, nah, nah. I don't even want to talk about that because I find it irritating. But at the same time, I'm happy for Israel because honestly, like, see, God protects us. But we just don't get it. Like, we just don't get it. But there's some times where you feel like, I want to see this particular thing, but it's not coming to me. And like, I'm feeling angry, jealous, but like, you just don't know that God is protecting you from something. Like literally, if I was in his shoes, guy, I, I you invite me to a party like that. See, at no party like I did this party, I would go. Like if I get an opportunity to even be a plus one to someone invited, I would take it. But because like, we don't know what's going on in there, but there are gonna be so many celebrities and like so many things that we just want to experience it, we just want to, you know, connect with people. So like your mind will go there that oh my god. But like like I said, God protects us even when we we don't see it that way. So if you're doing something and it's probably not going right, see, just see it like God is just protecting you from something. But honestly, like that's how I see life right now. You know where to find more so just keep on coming because i'm gonna be making more videos you know we gotta catch up on all of this diddy's thingy so don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel and keep a comment down on what you think about this whole case love you guys